Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please uh, continue to do so. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so let's see what's going on for Gemini. This is getting on my nerves. Okay. Hold, hold on, guys. All right. All right. All right. Here we, okay, here we go. So, let's see. Looking at my nakedness. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. First card out is judgment. So some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. So you also could be dealing with an Aquarius here. It's just like you this is the age of enlightenment. So it's like you come into some knowledge about a particular person, place or thing or relationship. You have to determine if you're gonna really stick with this or leave it alone. It's like the universe is saying it's calling you to a place of leaving the old behind. They want you to go higher, to ascend, to really put something down or put a person down. You don't need to take them with you. Or it may even be saying you can't take them with you. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, the sun card. So you may be coming to some realization with the knight of swords here. That could be you also. Um Maybe that, um, <laughs> excuse me, the sun card and the knight of swords. So something about acting fast, you may have to make a quick, fast determination about a particular person, especially when you get some expressed knowledge, when you get something made aware to you. What is this sun card? What is being made aware? The magician. Maybe that somebody is just giving you words. Uh, they use, they're use using their words right. They're saying all that they need to say to get you to stay or to get you to hang on. Especially with the knight of swords. Because the knight of swords can talk about needing to act fast. Because you know that you're losing something or you're losing somebody. So you got to do something big to draw them back in so it could be you it could be the other person it could be dealing with a leo somebody could be testing you saying that they're going to leave or that yeah that they're going to leave if you don't do if you don't give if i don't know this could even be like an ultimatum what is going on for gemini here you have the eight of pentacles it's like you have been on this roundabout. One of you either cares or, or is more invested in the relationship than the other. And that's why it's hard for you to get off this cycle, get out of this. You could be even invested in terms of money. Or if somebody brings in the money or most of the money. Somebody could be leaning on the other person also. Therefore, I need to keep you around because if. If not you, then who? Who's going to take care of me? There has been a continual cycle in this relationship of in and out. Maybe you guys cycle in and out of each other's lives. Or if it's not that, the relationship goes and cycles to where it's just like sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. The, the eight of swords and the lovers you sometimes you feel trapped or you overthink this relationship some of you feel stuck in this sexual relationship and like you wonder when is it going to ever transpire into something more into something better with the eight of swords and the lovers this could have been friends turned into lovers 
and it, it might have just needed to be friends and not a love relationship. Somebody tried to make something more than what it was, the air of being good natured. So the air of being good natured. So you were a good person and you got burned with the eight of swords and now you feel stuck. You feel trapped in this. You feel like you got the short end of the stick in this love affair, in this contract, in this marriage for some of you. This would be a marriage that happened later in life. Somebody was taking your money or you were holding somebody up, holding them up in terms of you had the purse or you had the wallet and you're holding them up, you know, whatever they need, you, you finance it. So. You could have been doing it because it was, you know, your marriage. This is your partner. This is your spouse. The Ten of Swords, another Gemini card coming out. So you feel like this is, this relationship is either collapsed or it will collapse or it needs to collapse or it's done. Or you're, you're tired of being blindsided. Yeah, I feel like you feel like something needs to be over. You need to really cut this off. It's not adding to you. It's not adding anything to you. It's not bringing any value. If it's some of you that were stuck in a sexual relationship with somebody because they had somebody else, they had you and someone else, you feel like you need to cut it off. If it's you who were married and your person had somebody else and you had somebody else, because I'm seeing like four different, like two different couples, I don't know. Now you feel trapped. Now you feel stuck. Somebody brought a lot of different baggage with them and the relationship. Somebody keeps somebody hanging on with their words, but they don't do anything or doesn't ever manifest into anything. Got another Gemini card. Wow. Nine of swords. It's just like the overthinking and the fear and the anxiety. There might have been argument and breakdown and in communication and there's tension within the relationship. There's some sleepless and restless nights. Um, there's somebody sleeping alone here also. Listen to your intuition. Whatever it's telling you is true with the high priestess coming out. That there is something or somebody else behind the scenes. That somebody vacations with or goes to or travels to with the four of swords. There is suspicion of infidelity and it could be that somebody is, you know, not being honest. It looks like a woman could be, it looks like a woman and a man could be cheating. I'm just going to be honest. Um, the five of cups at the bottom of the deck. It's just great disappointment. Somebody, there's a lot of resentment and regret. Like, I shouldn't have done this or I shouldn't have trusted. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Could be dealing with anybody here. Uh, you got all signs. I don't think you had any pentacles. No. Yeah, you got one pentacle card. Yeah. Uh, could be dealing with a Virgo. I don't know. Uh, yeah, Virgo coming up. There's a lot of regret here. You just regret. And then there's a lot of time that has elapsed between the two of you. So it's like, well, how do we even fix this if we wanted to? It's been a lot of tears that have been cried over this situation. A lot of drama and childish behavior. There's been someone who wasn't able to put the party down to actually be in a one-on-one -on -one relationship. Because that's what they weren't seeking that. Everybody was in the relationship except the two people who signed up for the relationship. Let's see what the advice is for you. And we'll close this out. What is the advice for Gemini? If you believe. So if you believe that somebody's cheating and they're cheating. If you believe that you need to leave, then leave. Let's see. If you. Okay. That's one to come out. Yeah. Ask for help from others if you need help if you need how to plan your escape or how to feel better because you had a lot of negative cards yeah communicate clearly i don't think you we saw the breakdown in communication we saw the argument we saw the 
discord i think you're holding on too tight and you need to let go you also could be holding on to the hurt and the pain and the shame and you need to let that go too this is what i have for you gemini if it resonates for you let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section go over to the website book there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below and you can also um, donate to the channel by clicking the buy a coffee link catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time thank you gemini many blessings to you take care